Thanks, friends. My name is Shayna. I'm the owner, designer, and seamstress at Enlighten Reaper Creations. Today, I am here to show you how to make a Reaper pants pattern from scratch. And I'm also going to show you how to make a pair of Reaper pants from scratch. So, without further ado, let's go on to the materials we're going to use today. All right, everybody. The first thing you're going to need is a measuring tape. This is very important. So, grab your measuring tape. Tape, get yourself a big old roll of it. Nice, sharp scissors. Pin cushion, not necessary, but it's always good. And you also need some sewing needles. Pencil or pen, I prefer Sharpie. But if you're a beginner, you might want to use the basic pencil. White paper, 8 by 11. Or if you have a big roll of paper, that would totally rock on. But for most people, printer paper, 8 by 11. You're going to need about 12 to 14 or even 18 sheets. So, next, iron. I recommend that you iron everything always, all the time. Ironing is very important. And of course, our fabric. Fabric, I think I said about three yards, so this is probably about three yards. Now, we're gonna make our pattern. All right, kiddies. The first step is lining up our paper. Take your paper, lay it out on your sewing surface, one next to each other. I like to line mine long ways. You're probably going to use about five or six down and probably two to three across. So let's start with that. And once you are done, you have all your paper lined up, take your tape, tape each of the pieces so that all the pieces make one large piece. That is going to be the base of your pattern. All right, kitties, before we begin, we're going to go over the dynamics of pants. A lot of people get confused with making pants, and this is going to clarify things a lot. Pants are made up of four panels. Front panel, front panel, back panel, back panel. So, when you're making your pattern, you want your waist size to be divided by four. And that's because you have four panels. Alright, speaking of waist size, that's how we're going to start out our pattern today. So let's say, the most common waist size that I get asked for is a size 34. So we're going to take 34, and we're going to assume, since we're making drawstring pants, that 34 waist size is large enough to fit over your hips. Because when you're pulling up the pants, if your waist size is actually 34, and your hip size is like mine, 36, you're minus two inches, and you're not going to be able to pull them over your ass. So, if your hip size is 36, that's what you're going to want to go with. I'm sorry I'm saying waist size, but they're going to be sitting on your waist or wherever you have your pants set. So, for this, we're going to say 34. All right. So here's our measuring tape. I measured out 34. So it's measured in half right now. This is 34. I folded it over. Now I'm going to fold over one more time and have the ends meet so that there's one, two, three, four. Four pieces just like four panels of your pants. You're going to come over here. You're going to put it at the very top. You're going to measure out. Take your pencil. and mark that right there at the top. Now you're going to take your measuring tape and your cuff size. I'm talking about this. And if you look at your pants, it's one piece, one piece. So unlike the waist size, you're going to take your cuff size, which I usually do 42 to 44. I'm going to go with 42 um, here. This is what you're going to want to put at your bottom. Take that measurement, 
and measure right here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your out seam measurement. Your out seam measurement is from the very top down to the very bottom of your cuff. Take that measurement, which mine is uh, uh, 36. We are going to take it right here at the side because it is your outside seam. And we're going to take that and we're going to mark it. There's my 36. You're going to add about 4 inches or more depending on how large you want that bottom cuff to be. I usually go with 4 inches. So, since your measuring tape is still here, 1, 2, 3, 4. That puts me at 40. Now using your measuring tape, measure the last bit of your paper. came to 3 inches. Now, at the mark that you just did for your um, cuff, use that measurement of 3 inches, come up, and mark it. Then what you can do, this is how you are using your measurements to make your pattern, you go to the mark at the end of that and then you use the measuring tape to draw your um, bottom cuff line. And now you're going to take your inseam which is from right here at the apex center of the crotch all the way down and then you do this take it right at the corner of where you just made that last mark go straight up and then mark it all right now all right now that your measuring tape is right here at the end seam Use it to make your end seam. So now, all that's left is the crotch. Now remember, since your sewing machine is going to need a seam allowance, I like to give myself an inch seam allowance. So since there's going to be a seam for the crotch and a seam on your out seam, you're going to make sure you add two inches from the waist measurement that you initially did. So now that you've added two inches, what I like to do is take the measuring tape and make it flush with the very top, um, draw a straight line probably about five inches, and then gently curve it around from there till it meets that NC measurement. That will be a kind of half moon shape. All right, everybody. We have just completed our raver pants pattern. Pat yourself on the back. I'm sure you did a fabulous job. Now that you have it complete, you're going to want to write what everything is, inseam, outseam, waist, cuffs, so that for further reference throughout this video, you will know what we are dealing with. Um, I'm going to have to break this video up into two segments, maybe even three, so head on to the next segment and uh, we'll actually make the pants. Peace everybody.